So one of the oddities of the British Museum's prints and drawings collection is it's really not all about Dürer and Michelangelo and it, it has lots of material that is sort of really much more about social history. And at the heart of that is this amazing collection of over 19,000 bits of paper collected by Sarah Sophia Banks. Sarah Sophia Banks was sister of Joseph Banks, the probably best known for going with Cook on his first job voyage around the Pacific. And Sarah Sophia lived with her brother in Soho Square and kept house for him. And then rather unusually for the 18th century, uh, when he married, she still stayed in the house. And I think um, Lady Banks must have been um, a rather forgiving type uh, as the house filled up with more and more bits of paper. Because basically what Sarah Savai did was she collected every single bit of paper that she came across. So it's this extraordinary idea of, of Georgian England. So trade cards, visiting cards, playbills, tickets for operas. To my right here is a very typical folder that she does. She's a sort of born uh, curator. She loves to arrange her collection. Uh, and so these are all tickets uh, for this exciting new site at the end of the 18th century of, of the ascent of balloons. So this one here is uh, just around the corner from the BM in, in Tottenham Court Road. And then often she writes in her rather neat handwriting comments about it. It's called the British Balloon, so possibly rather appropriately for the day we live in to naturally get off the ground. And what's interesting, um, I think, about Sarah's fire is that there are often things that she didn't collect herself, people sent to her. So there are things sent to her from the Congress of Vienna, there are things sent to her from Washington, um, because she's the sister of a very important man. She has this sort of rather strange fixation with printed ephemera, and so people say, oh yes, I'm going to keep this, and send it off to, to Sarah Sophia in, in Soho Square. And so it's not only this idea you go to the kind of, uh, this growing uh, world of London and all these entertainments and all these wonderful fancy goods flowing in from the empire, but it's also this network that Sarah Sophia has that is sending things back to her, right from the kind of foreign secretary at the Congress of Vienna and all these British diplomats. I mean, it would be rather odd today if you're sort of um, the, um, the foreign secretary spent all their time in kind of um, Washington collecting visiting cards and sending them back. But uh, they did for the very, obviously very persuasive Sarah Sophia. So that's one aspect of our collection. She also collected satire prints which is another great strength of our collection. So she's a sort of wonderfully quirky and odd character. And this, as I say, it's, it gives you such an insight into Georgian England. Um, and you won't be surprised, the moment she died, um, her sister-in-law gave the entire collection to the British Museum. I mean, uh, probably delighted to be rid of it out of the house. Um, but um, it's all online and accessible. So uh, if you have a, a kind of rainy, afternoon, uh, please uh, spend your time looking at Sarah Sophia printed ephemera. You won't be disappointed.